start to do is just apply lots of color and lots of marks in what I call reckless abandonment phase, where I'm not really thinking, I'm just putting down colors. People always ask me, well, how do you know what colors you're going to use? And um, the answer is, I just feel it. I just feel what colors. So lately I've been doing lots of purples and blues. I'm not sure why, but that's, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I'll start with some, some purple and blue here. Um, and and often I'll just randomly pick up colors and, and put them on see what's available at my fingertips. I'm leaving this yellow up here. I'm wondering, let's see, let's go back up here. And often what I do, I think, oh God, that's not, that's not at all going to work. And so, you know, I just keep going until something begins to speak to me. And often, as this piece is beginning to prove, um, I cover the whole thing with, you know, reckless abandonment marks because I have no idea what's really going to happen. And now I've got a lot. So at this point, I've got a lot of layers here, and it's all mud. So now it's time to pull in the scraper tool, which um, I'll just pull across like that. And it creates the layers that I'm talking about. It creates this, the transparency. Does it reveal the layers? It reveals the layers, right. It's not creating the layers. It's revealing the layers. It's also creating a sense of tension between transparent and opaque areas. Another theme that I'm really interested in is um, opening doors and windows and going through and seeing that there's a, a veil between you know, the outside and the inside or having a little peephole in and being able to have your psyche go in and hide behind this orange, and then, oh, here you are again, right here with the, with the purple. Um, so the reason I'm bringing that up is that suddenly I'm, I'm interested in this piece now. And the next phase of this is to take the tape off, because you will be shocked to see the difference between what you see now and when the tape is gone. So I take the tape off, and um, it will tell me how much further I need to go with the piece, and where I need to focus. And the other thing that I have to be aware of, and I teach students, is how to go beyond the mark, the mechanical mark. Like right now, so, okay, well, this looks like some sort of tool came across here. You know, there has a, there's a sense of a mechanical tool here. So, you know, I will come in and, and change the edges so that, you know, you don't say, oh, okay, it looks like I know how she made that. So I'm going to come in here and pull. The razor blade pulls more away than the scraper. Um, and so if I really want to punch this out, I'm going to come back with orange and make that stronger. So now this goes even further back than it did before. But this looks like I just went like that. So I'm going to come in here and kind of massage this area so it feels more like it's really part of the piece. Okay, that's better. I, 
I have to make art. If I could be something else, I probably would. <laughs> but the need to create and from, from scratch, the need to redefine and um, reshape and create and affect change through visual communication is, is so strong for me that um, I have come to embrace and accept and recognize that, or rec recognize, embrace, and accept that as what my mission in life is. <laughs>